For as long as I've been designing websites, nothing beats Blogvault when it comes to security staging and migration. But they've gone and done something really amazing that I did not expect. They've upgraded their dashboard. So when you log in, you get taken to this brand new dashboard. Now I'm going to show you what the old one looked like. And there wasn't anything majorly wrong with this, if I'm honest. Like it highlighted to me if there were any issues or anything I need to deal with. I might get a warning because there's a vulnerable plugin, usually a plugin I haven't updated in a while. While. I could go to the dashboard. How have my backups been going? Has there been any security issues or anything else that I need to know about? But I've got to say, this new dashboard looks ultra clean and really modern. For instance, I really like that bell at the top for my notifications. There's something about clicking a bell. Now, I'm going to give you a quick run through if you are using Blog Vault. And if you're not, you really should sign up and go and have a look at it. So if I have signed up for anything in terms of my account, I can go and check that by clicking the three dots in the top right corner. You still get an overview of your website in terms of plugins or themes that need to be updated, or is there any plugin that hasn't been updated in a while? I can jump into any of my websites and I get told how the site health is looking, how are the backups doing, what's my performance score. And I know some of you are gonna say 61%. Look, I am messing around on my homepage as I record this video, so let it Go. The details I get here about how's my firewall doing, has there been any malware attacks, has anyone tried to get in, and I even get some advanced monitoring as well. I mean, this is really, really good. Just think about some of the other managing website solutions that are out there and compare them to what you're getting with Blog Vault. But this whole new interface is really good. For instance, if I go and click backup, it's going to show me even more information. And this is the really neat bit because I'm one of those people that likes to look at calendars when it comes to scheduling. And the fact that I can now very quickly see what backups are available. Having them as a list is totally fine. But if you now know that something happened on Sunday, I now know that I've got four backups on that day and four more the day before as well. At any time, I can click any of these sidebar items and I can actually go in and assess what plugins, themes I got and what needs updated. Now, if I just jump back over where I go to managing my sites, I can highlight all of my websites, click manage plugins, select the ones I want to update and then go and click update. But the big thing about Blog Vault that I've mentioned many times and I know other people have as well is the fact that you get to do safe updates or sandbox updates. So what happens is it takes like a copy of your website, runs the update, allows you to visually check if things look good or not because you get before and after images of your homepage and of course you can go and check the website. And if you're okay with that, it then will run the update because the big mistake a lot of people make is they hit an update, go, yeah, everything's fine. And then the website goes down. I mean, right now I've highlighted all of the websites and some of these are example websites. They're not completely real. And I've gone over to where it says security. I've checked off enabled and I'm going to click apply. And I know they already had it applied anyway, but if you ever want to do that, like you just want to run through your website and you want to enable security or disable the backups, you can do. We do have another item on here called clients. I'm going to add a client just to test this out. Let's go and click create client. So now I've got a client who's part of a website. Not that they're assigned to it, but that website belongs to them. Back in my dashboard, if I'm looking for a particular client, and imagine now you've got like hundreds of websites. By the way, I have got other Blog Vault accounts. This is the example dummy one I like to show off in tutorials, obviously for protection reasons. If I go over here and I now select client, there's Imran Squadron the one I just created. When I hit apply, the website appears. But there are some other amazing features over here. Let's just go back to all of the websites. I may decide I want to look for websites where the WordPress core version is like, I don't know, 5.5. It will bring them up. So I'm going to go over to plugin. I'm going to type in has advanced custom fields, because what if you find out that there's a vulnerability with a particular plugin and you now want to go through all of your websites? Let's just say you've got a thousand websites. I've done a search and I know that these two have got advanced custom fields on there. So now I can go in and address it. And this is so much better than what we had before. Now, while I'm on that same website, I've gone and clicked on the security tab because again, there's so much information you get. And if you're trying to convince your client or someone where you've got a maintenance care plan, 
that you are looking after their website, taking screenshots, creating a report, dropping it into an email. This could really make a difference between the relationship you have with your clients. But you know what? Let's go and see what would happen if we were to generate a report. So let's go to site reports. Let's click new report. We can upload our own logos, but let's just go with what we get out of the box. And there's so much details that you can add and modify to make the report fit what you would like to present and how you would like to present it. Bear in mind that once you've connected this website to Google Site Analytics and you've made the connections inside of here, then you'll be able to pull that over into the report as well. So I've clicked create report and let's just see how long this takes. That took about one and a half minutes and we now have our report generated and it's just going to summarize to me how many updates there are, how many backups there are. The firewall is active, the security, the website is clean, the website is up. I can see how many backups are generated. I mean, look, if you've got a client and you're charging them like $5,000 a month, you can say, hey, look, it's because of all of these damn backups. It's a pretty simple and easy to understand report. And this could make a massive difference between getting your clients to hire you on a maintenance plan. It is going to take a bit of time to get used to the new dashboard. The best way is to play with it. Get your websites loaded in. Have fun. I'm in Random Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. Well done, Blog Vault. Well done to the WP Remote team. Well done.